Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lisa Olson, narrator for today's event. On behalf of Brigadier General Michelle M.T. Letcher, Commanding General, Joint Munitions and Lethality, Life Cycle Management Command, and Joint Munitions Command, welcome. We're honored you could join us for today's event. This morning, Command Sergeant Major Brian J. Morrison will assume responsibility as a senior non-commissioned officer of the United States Army, Joint Munitions and Lethality, Life Cycle Management Command, and Joint Munitions Command. Before we honor our hosts, I would like to provide a brief history of the command. The United States Army Joint Munitions Command is the Department of Defense's field operating agency for the single manager for conventional ammunition. Since the end of World War II, the Army has had a succession of commands to manage the development, production, storage, and distribution of ammunition. Many of these commands have been headquartered at Rock Island Arsenal. On January 17, 2003, the Operation Support Command was renamed the Joint Munitions Command and later in the year became a subordinate command to the U.S. Army Field Support Command. On October 1, 2006, the Joint Munitions Command separated from the Army Field Support Command and became a major subordinate command. The primary mission of the Joint Munitions Command is to provide the Army and Joint Forces with lethality that wins. JMC manages the production, storage, distribution, and demilitarization of conventional ammunition for all U.S. military services. JMC also provides direct support to COCOM commanders. In support of global operations, JMC continues to supply and ship routine and urgent ammunition requirements for all services and our allies. JMC is responsible for munitions production and storage facilities in numerous states in the chemical materials activity. The command employs 20 military personnel, more than 5,400 civilian personnel, and more than 6,200 contractors. JMC executes an annual budget of $4 billion. <coughs> Participating in this morning's ceremony is Sergeant First Class Kawan Baptiste, United States Army Sustainment Command. The presence of the colors at the center of the room represents their presence at the front of the unit during the heat of battle. The official party for today's ceremony consists of the reviewing officer, Brigadier General Michelle M.T. Ledger, Commanding General, Joint Munitions and Lethality, Life Cycle Management Command and Joint Munitions Command, and Command Sergeant Major Brian J. Morrison, incoming Command Sergeant Major. Please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for honors to the nation performed by Miss Jill King and the invocation by Chaplain Major Jeffrey Hicks First Army Command Chaplain. <laughs> Each 
of you to please pray with me. Gracious and loving God, we are grateful that you are here with us today. We welcome your presence here with us today. We're grateful for Command Sergeant Major Morrison and his assumption of responsibility ceremony as he begins his JMCHQ duties today. Please bless him with your wisdom, favor, and success. And please place your special blessing upon his family and provide for their every need. We ask you to please bless this ceremony as participants and all in attendance here. And we ask you, Lord, to please may your protection, grace, and peace be always upon us all. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Ms. King and Chaplain Hicks. At this time, Ms. Chris Werkheiser is presenting a spring bouquet of flowers to Command Sergeant Major Morrison's mother, Mrs. Mary Nesbitt, as a small token of appreciation for her unwavering support throughout her son's career. At this time, the official party will take their positions with the colors. Incoming Command Sergeant Major Morrison will assume responsibility as the senior enlisted leader of the Joint Munitions and Lethality Life Cycle Management Command and Joint Munitions Command. The custodian of the JMC colors is the Command Sergeant Major. When the colors are not displayed for the Commanding General, the colors are always in the care of the Command Sergeant Major. Throughout history, military leaders have often used a visible symbol of authority around which to rally their command. The organizational colors embody the spirit and essence of the unit. The ceremonial passing of the organizational colors has existed in our Army since the days of General George Washington. Today, the passing of the GMC colors symbolizes Command Sergeant Major Morrison assuming responsibility as a senior enlisted leader and principal advisor to the commander. Effective 18 March 2019, Command Sergeant Major Brian J. Morrison assumes the duties and responsibilities as a Command Sergeant Major for the Joint Munitions and Lethality, Life Cycle Management Command, and Joint Munitions Command. Congratulations, Command Sergeant Major Morrison. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce our host for today's ceremony, the Commanding General, Joint Munitions and Lethality, Life Cycle Management Command, and Joint Munitions Command, General Michelle Fletcher. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I have energy on Monday morning. I just got uh, back off like a seven-day cruise, and I was so excited about the ceremony. As a matter of fact, I couldn't, couldn't even enjoy vacation. We were on the boat. I said to my husband, I said, we have a new Sergeant Major coming on Monday. You know, this vacation needs to hurry up and end. So I'm sure all of you felt that way this weekend as well, excited about this morning's ceremony. So thank you for attending Command Sergeant Major Brian Morrison's Assumption of Responsibility Ceremony today. I'd like to um, extend special greetings to family and friends and all of you who took time to give them a warm JMC welcome, warm Rock Island welcome. Thank you to Army Sustainment Command for providing a color bearer for the ceremony, and thank you to Ms. King for that beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. Yes, we got back on Saturday, and yesterday we had to go to Des Moines because my son qualified for regionals for swimming at seven states come together. Um, the only reason he wanted to get into swimming is last summer, he, he's 12, he started doing triathlons and realized swimming was his worst category. And so he said, put me on a swim team. And so after about six months on the swim team, he qualified for state regionals. Um, and as we went into yesterday, he said, I'm not really nervous because I really don't have an expectation of winning. What I have an expectation about is learning and becoming a better swimmer. And the next year, being part of, having more people from the team be part of that. And as I reflected on that, I thought about today, because that's what coming into JMC is going to be like. It's going to be this whole new environment that you probably haven't experienced before, and it's going to be overwhelming, 
but you don't have to hit it out of the park the first day or the first week, but pretty soon you'll become an expert and not just by yourself, but an expert with the team around you, Sergeant Major. So um, he comes as JMC having served in the Army for about 28 years. He started as a light wheeled vehicle mechanic, um, go ordinance. Right, Ken? Go ordinance. Go ordinance. Oh. He's a transporter, but because he has a factory across the street, I have him trained with the go ordinance now. Um, also served as a first sergeant. Past two assignments, he served as a command sergeant major. So he comes to us with a wealth of enlisted experience, enlisted soldier experience, because we have so many of them in Joint Munitions Command, right? Um, but I'd like everyone here to be aware of the fact that enlisted soldiers like Command Sergeant Major Morrison, who attained the distinction of being selected as the Command Sergeant Major, really reflect the epitome of success in their chosen field. Except for Sergeant Major of the Army, there is no higher grade or rank for our enlisted soldiers, and there's no greater honor than to serve. The Command Sergeant Major carries out policies and standards of performance, training, appearance, and conduct of the personnel inside the organization. They advise and initiate recommendations to the commander and his or her staff. Perhaps slightly wiser and more experienced than the first sergeant, the command sergeant major is expected to function completely without supervision. Like the old stage of times past, the command sergeant major's counsel is expected to be calm, settled, and unequivocally accurate, but with an energy and enthusiasm that never wanes. I'm sure you've seen that in a lot of movies, right? A lot of energy and enthusiasm by the command sergeant major, um, and even in the worst of times and we expect nothing less than that from you, Sergeant Major. All that said, it takes teamwork to be a soldier. It takes teamwork to support soldiers and civilians, or in the case of Munitions Command, um, several soldiers and many more civilians, who in turn also support their command, Sergeant Major. It's a team sport here in JMC. I think you'll find overwhelming support from the JMC workforce, which is a team of dedicated professionals who provide the best possible ammunition sustainment for our joint warfighter worldwide. Their individual and team responses, their dedication, personal initiative, hard work, and desire to do whatever is required in service and the needs of our joint force is superb. And I, might, I think I told you this during the interview process, but I think the work ethic here at JMC is unmatched, and I think you'll find the same. As you assume responsibility of your new role here today, I want to stress that one of the real strengths of the United States Army is the seamless transition of its leaders. This ensures that the mission continues even when the leadership changes. We live in a dynamic world where change is an ever-present reality, and smooth leadership transition allows us to maintain peak mission performance as we adapt to new conditions and circumstances. I'm confident that your leadership will help JMC to adapt to new challenges and continue to perform admirably. Command Sergeant Major Morrison, we look forward to working with you. Welcome to the team and Army Strong. Ladies and gentlemen, the Command Sergeant Major, Joint Munitions and Lethality, Life Cycle Management Command, and Joint Munitions Command, Command Sergeant Major Brian Morrison. Good morning, everybody. I won't be near as eloquent as uh, General Letcher, uh, but I will try my best. Um, the Color Guard, National Anthem, amazing. Thank you. Uh, the, the individual touches like that uh, go a long way when you really think about uh, our history as a country and a nation. Um, so with that, I'll, I'll get right into it. Good morning, General Letcher, Colonel Letcher, Ms. Fisher, Army Major Cook, First Army, an old battle buddy of mine, Colonel Marr, Sergeant Major Heffernan from the Garrison, uh, Sergeant Major uh, retired Jimmy Spencer, and uh, Sergeant Major retired uh, Walton James. You guys honor me with, with your presence. Um, I look forward to working with you in the future. And friends, family uh, of the JMC team, uh, thank you for coming today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to attend today's ceremony. I would like to thank God first and foremost. Without him, I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing. I'm excited to share this day with my family who have trekked from Indiana uh, to be a part of this special occasion. Thank you. I see quite a few uh, faces in the crowd that I've served with in the past. Uh, I'm honored uh, by your attendance and, and support uh, in this endeavor. Uh, I'm humbled to join the JMC team. Our mission is critical to supporting our nation and partners around the globe. Providing world-class munition solutions cannot be understated in importance. Delivering these solutions to the end user, the soldier, who counts on us daily in an austere environment they are operating in. 
I look forward to contributing to the amazing team of soldiers, Department of Army civilians and contractors who will provide a history of safety and success in any mission given in their ever changing environment. Thank you again for all your support in today's ceremony. It's truly a humbling experience. I look forward to the challenges, provide lethality that wins. immediately following at the rear of the room. Enjoy the rest of your day. Provide lethality that wins.